What's up, go getters? Welcome back to Mini Money. And in this channel, we discuss matters personal finance. So if you're interested in taking complete control of your finances, it's time to smash that subscribe button, subscribe button, subscribe button, and turn on the bell. So very, welcome very much to today's episode. And today we're going to be looking at five habits five money habits, this is really money, five money habits that are likely to keep you broke, that are likely to keep you poor. So if you avoid these five habits, it goes without saying, one plus one is two, see 11, very fast habit is paying yourself last. So, and that one obviously comes from the opposite of paying yourself fast. So you need to save money and you cannot save after after the end of the month you cannot save after your expenses you actually have to pay yourself first so that is a very very fast habit that is likely to keep you poor that is likely to keep you broke if you don't have any savings or if you actually wait at the end of the month to start saving habit number two is mindless spending and allow me to spend some time here mindless spending usually looks like many things first of all um, there's not tracking how much you're spending. So you don't know how much money usually you spend in a month. You don't know how much money you spend in a year. In a year. You don't know how much money you spend on sugar, basic things on tissue every month or every year and things like that. So if you don't know where your money is going, that's, that's, that's mindless because you're not keeping track. And the other form of mindless spending is this is to silly deals. You know, this to silly deals of was 1700 is now. 14.99 ah, manze. those silly silly deals usually are very expensive because you don't truly save money so i remember there's a time in 2017 um there was a deal with planet yogurt i'm not sh i'm not sure if it's still there so i was on this deal with planet yogurt and everyone else could be where if you spend if you visit their shop nine times the tenth time is on them or something to that effect so so they give you this card where every time you go they kind of put a sticker on and they take records blah 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 that kind of a thing and then the tenth time the bill is on them so you can imagine me in 2017 thinking that i am this gekoyo who is out to get everyone's money and i'm there going to planet there was this planet yogurt um on kemathi street apotu where kukito is now and i would visit that place way too often in that one year to try and clock the nine times um and then get the tenth one free fine i did it and immediately after that i threw away the card but it was such a hassle yeah anyone who is telling me hey it's been a minute i'm like yeah 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 let's meet where planet yoga it was always the same place mindless spending for sure in the year 2017 i wouldn't have gone to planet yoga 10 times why not for that card so it's the same same deal with all these supermarket cards that you usually have so you've been going to a supermarket you get for so it's the same deal with these supermarket deals you've been having so you've been going to this supermarket you don't like for i don't know a whole year why because you're collecting points points that will never really amount to anything so spending and how you spend your money mindless spending is Habit number two that is actually going to keep you poor. So don't really think that you're saving that 200 bob when something was 1700 and is now 14.99. Instead, you're actually spending 14.99. So be very aware when it comes to your spending. Are you spending on things that you don't need to impress people who don't care? You, the common, common things that we hear out here, but we never really think about them. Then uh, habit number three, and this is going to be an interesting one, is putting off investing. Now, in the month of March and April, I did a series about investing. Yeah, so I taught, it's, actually I'm going to link the entire playlist right here. So I actually did a few, probably six, seven episodes about different places you can invest, uh, different kinds of investments. And I know some of you watching were like, yeah, 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 I should definitely invest in that. Or you've been talking with your friends, they're telling you about crypto, that it's now low, you should definitely invest. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm going to invest. You talk about you talk about uh, bonds with someone else, you're like, ah, by the way, your next month, I'm going to invest. So you have been putting off investing pretty much for years. Yeah, since started earning you, there is that investment that you've been putting off. And that is habit number three that is going to keep you broke and keep you poor. Because if you don't invest, then your money will not work for you. If your money is not working for you, guess what you're doing? You're trading your time for money. 
and that usually is not the very best way to approach this so stop putting off you umeko kisema uta invest i mean nani it is time it is time to actually invest so that is habit number 3 habit number 4 um and yes this one really affects almost every single person i know is hanging out with the wrong crowd now allow me allow me to explain your group of friends the people that you hang out with they truly truly affect how you're going to grow when it comes with you, when it comes to your money when it comes to your personal finances so if you're hanging out with a crowd that has very expensive taste you know you know your friends yeah or you're spending uh, your time with a crowd that is making significantly more than you and for them i mean it's it's disposable income so when you go out uh, for a weekend you take a small vacation and you blow 70 g's on that weekend maybe to them that is disposable income they had for the month because they are earning 350 g's every single month now we want to earn your 70 your 70 a year weekend that's what you're earning every single month so if you continually hang out with this crowd that's going to be a mess because you're going to try and live up and that's that's what happens with groups of friends and 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 if you hang out with it's called keeping up with the joneses so because your friend has upgraded their phone to whatever is new you also want to do the same because your friend is driving this kind of a car you don't want to be left behind yeah you're in a crew of seven guys new to mwanze bado kwa kwa futsubishi you don't want that kind of game so what do you do you go buy a car you don't need Yeah so hanging out with the wrong crowd even hanging out with people who are never talking about business they're never talking about money they're not challenging how you think they're not challenging in what you're investing in so you never have this kind of discussions i mean that is again the crowd which crowd are you hanging out with and even what kind of advice are they giving you because one big mistake is listening to advice from the wrong people So you're listening to financial advice people are discouraging you from investing in certain things people are discouraging you from uh you know saving they're having the yolo mindset you know you remember yolo people stop saying yolo hmm i wonder why but people are having that you know come on buy and buy kind of attitude and mindset and that, that is your core group that is your inner circle well that is likely to be a habit that is going to keep you broke that is going to keep you poor because you would be all know it said that you are an average of the five people you hang out with so when you angalia to just look at your five people look at their spending habits look at how they think about money look at the kind of energy they are going to talk on bad vibes they are like ah oh, oh, don't invest there that money will go down the drain yeah so what is the energy around the people you are with so Number 4. Number 4 we need to be careful, we need to be wise because it's also important to hang out with people who are making more than you so that you kind of learn from them. You know what are they doing right? Because are they having are they appearing richer because they have a trust fund? Yeah, and you want to be like them. Can you imagine uko hapo hivyo, you're trying to fit in with a group of people who have 30 acres in inheritance. Yeah, how else you can't behave the same? if you don't have that kind of security you simply cannot behave the same so that is point number 4 habit number 5 and the last one we're going to be looking at in this particular video is lifestyle inflation lifestyle inflation is uh, you earning that extra coin and you decide eh because you have a lose 20 g's 20 g's let me say kama mkurugenzi you have a lose 20 g's and you start feeling like in a nyumba this house is a bit too small for me yeah you like is simu in a hang you see is simu it's not fast enough refresh rate is not 144 hertz or something like that so what happens is that your lifestyle the graph of your lifestyle is constantly following the graph your earning graph so every single time you make more money you just increase your lifestyle you bump your lifestyle just a little bit yeah so the next time you you have a pay rise You know what you do you decide i i need to move out from this hood i need to live in a certain place that is a bit better and it keeps following each other lifestyle inflation my friends is probably the most dangerous habit that is going to keep you broke you know why because you are always going to out earn you're always going to outspend your earnings yeah you're always going to outspend your earnings if you are infected by this bug called lifestyle inflation so those are five money habits that are going to keep you poor and i don't know you tell me what is from this from this five ni gani unasikia kidogo you you have been i'm shouting nataka kuna ile point ya eh mimi una shout 
what is the point that you feel and yeah this one is truly for me and you need to change let me know down in the comments below uh but other than that thank you very much for watching this video until this point if you're still here big up man you're a big fan and i appreciate you i'm going to be seeing you guys next week and until then kick ass